Project Abacada or the awareness of bombs that kill lives and destroy properties. The Project Abacada was the brainchild of the then Chief of Staff and now the Acting Director, Police Colonel Albert G. Magno. Emanated from a simple idea, his concept of bringing awareness to the community thrived and developed as one of the best practices of the PNP EOD K-9 group. This project aims to reach out and bring awareness to PNP personnel, security forces, force multipliers, LGUs, stakeholders, the business sector, students, and other members of the community who will likely be victims of explosive-related incidents or ERIs. At the end of this course, participants shall be able to learn more about the PNP EOD K-9 Group, Explosives, Bombs, and Unexploded Ordnance or UXO, Improvised Explosive Devices or IEDs, and Bomb Threat Management. The PNP EOD K9 Group, or the Explosive Ordnance Disposal and K9 Group, is one of the 15 National Operational Support Units of the Philippine National Police. Since its activation on April 22, 2016, the PNP EOD K9 Group continues to carry out its mandate as the office primarily responsible for the management, deployment, utilization, and development of all EOD. K-9, and CBRN units of the Philippine National Police. The group provides operational support to PNP offices for the safe disposal of bombs and neutralization of hazards from conventional unexploded ordnance, improvised explosive devices or IEDs, and its associated materials that create a threat to public safety, installations, and utilities as well as to police operations, personnel, and or material. Elimination of hazards from UXO in any operational environment of the Philippine National Police and in responding to incidents that involve explosives and incendiary devices. Conduct of post-blast and crime scene investigations in coordination with other PNP units, in charge of effectively and efficiently carrying out the functions to sustain the PNP capabilities in addressing bomb threats and incidents. Responsible for effective and standardized utilization and development of all K-9 units of the Philippine National Police, as well as the procurement, inventory, breeding, training, development, distribution, and management of all police service dogs of the Philippine National Police to conduct specialized trainings and seminars to liaise with different PNP offices, Armed Forces of the Philippines, Philippine Coast Guard, LGU, other agencies, and non-government organizations for the development of its EOD, K-9, and CBRN units. Alos mawasak ang katawan ng isang lalaking nasa bugan ng napulot niyang vintage bomb sa Polo Molok, South Cotabato. Ayon po sa pulisya, dumating sa lugar ang biktima at pilit binubuksan ang bakal na hindi niya alam ay bomba pala. Sa lakas ng pagsabog, nabutas ang bahagi ng bahay at bubong nito. Nagkalasog-lasog ang kanang kamay ng isang construction worker sa Gigi Cruz Street, Barangay Baklaran, Paranaque. Ito ay matapos sumabog ang isang vintage bomb. And yung mga construction worker, ma'am, uh, nakahukay po ng vintage bomb. Eh, unusual sa kanila yun, ma'am. Out of ignorance, ma'am, hindi nila na report agad sa kapulisan, ma'am. Eh, pinukpok po nila, ma'am. And then, uh, sumabog po, ma'am. Hindi na makilala ang itsura ng pitong taong gulang na si Christian J. Gaspar matapos masabuga ng isang granada sa barangay Rizal sa Malalag, Davao del Sur. Ayon sa pulisya, naglalaro sa madamong parte na malapit sa bahay nila si Christian kasama ang limang taong gulang niyang kapatid na si Kent nang may makita silang granada. Pinulot nila ito at biglang sumabog. Dead on the spot si Christian J. 
habang nadala pa sa ospital si Kent pero namatay rin kalaunan. Lubos ang pagdadalamhati ngayon ng pamilya sa sinapit ng magkapatid. Patuloy namang minomonitor ng pulisya ang lugar, lalo't may natagpuan pang isang MK2 fragmentation hand grenade sa kalapit na lugar. Accidents like these are just some of the reasons the PNP EOD K9 group crafted the program Project Abacada. These mishaps could have been avoided if they had proper knowledge regarding the dangers of bombs, unexploded ordnance, and explosives. It is saddening that our fellow men, especially the children, suffered and were among the casualties of these hazards. Patay ang dalawang individual kabilang ang kilalang football player ng bansa matapos masabugan ng improvised explosive device sa Masbate. Ayon sa Police Regional Office 5, pinaniniwalaan ang New People's Army ang nagtanim ng mga IED. A suspected improvised explosive device blew up inside a passenger bus along Jensen Drive in Coronadel City, South Cotabato at 12.30 in the afternoon today, May 26, 2022. Terrorism is still an issue that we face every day. And bombing is yet one of the many ways that are being used to instill fear and terror. In the PNP EOD K9 group, we believe that security is everybody's concern. With the right information and awareness through Project Abacada, the police and community can help each other by being cautious and vigilant.